Right, well, here we are. This is going to be a public service announcement for INTPs. The entire goal of this video is to help you integrate your own proclivities and the things that bring you happiness into the realm of the real world that people that are less abstract in their thinking inhabit. Uh, being an INTJ, I have the advantage of having a proclivity to exploration, but having firmly dealt with the necessity of exploiting, I think I might have something to offer you in terms of how you can get the most out of the time that you have here on Earth or maybe in space or Mars if you decide to go there. So, you, in pursuing what is meaningful, are going to, well, it's going to be more difficult for you than it might be somebody who has the letters S and J in their personality type, because what an SJ would have in their personality type is generally working within established frame, frameworks and exploiting them for their ends and of course they think that exploit is a nasty word but that's semantics they they are generally exploiters and they generally tend to be way more conservative whereas INTPs would generally tend to be more liberal not necessarily leftist but more liberal and tend more toward exploration and one of the biggest things that you'll find if you're doing academic research is that um, the exploiters tend not to fund the exploration unless they see dollar signs. And so they won't fund necessarily research unless you go and you say, hey, doing this research cures cancer, or doing this, this research cures diabetes, or something that they can monetize, right? That's the way the world works, and whether you like it or not, you're going to have to deal with it. So, so getting people to fund your explorations, whatever they might be, is not easy. So now that we've gotten past that point, we've gotten past the point of being able to say, yeah, that's just, it, it sucks, and that's the way it is, and you're going to have to deal with it. How do you get your exploration fix. Of course there's the realm of books. Of course there's the realm of going places, traveling, adventuring, doing things. But how do you put it all together? And I think the answer is pretty simple. It's one of resource management. You are already intelligent. By definition, INTPs are, as a group, uh, the most intelligent of the MBTI types as far as IQ measurement is concerned. Uh, for women, uh, female INTJs are even more intelligent than female INTPs, but since both of them are fewer in number, the preponderance of male INTPs and the fact that male INTPs are slightly smarter than male INTJs means that you have the mental capacity to do this. So it's mostly a question of getting into the habit. This is not even something that requires too much willpower if you wind up setting yourself up to be able to do things right. And the resource management, I think, boils down to one big thing. What do you want to do? And at first glance, that might seem like an easy question to answer. You want to read, you want to explore, you want to whatever it is. But go and think, what do you not want? Okay, what do I you not want? Seriously, what do you not want? You don't want bill collectors banging down your door. You don't want 
to be evicted from your apartment. You don't want your life to go to hell. You don't want to die of venereal venereal disease. You don't want all these different things, right? And so that helps contextualize what it is you're going to do. And there we go. We'll prevent the nightlight from going and making our display all orange. Now that it's 6 o'clock p.m. So now that you've established this general list of wants and things that you do not want, you figure, okay, what resources do I have to manage? So that would probably be first and foremost time, uh, money, and then stuff money can buy, and then just stuff that's free. I mean, you, you, you can kind of parse things together, but you always have 24 hours at the end of the day. And if you want to have a good life, obviously a significant proportion of that needs to be directed at things that you know give you meaning. So you don't bully yourself. You don't go and say, okay, I'm going to be like an SJ and I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, plan every single microsecond of my day from the moment I get up to the moment I go to sleep. And that one time I go up to pee at two in the morning, I'm going to schedule that too. That's not going to work for you. So what I suggest is giving yourself a good time block, consistent time each day, because it does help to do things that way unless there's a compelling reason for you to, 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 to schedule your time block someplace else. And that is literally just me time. Things, this is entirely what you want to do and you prioritize this me time. You flat out say to everyone in your life, this is my me time. Uh, you can expect me to take care of my responsibilities in other time, but this time is what I'm prioritizing for my own meaning and for my own sanity, and that's it. Then you go and you look at your list of things that you want to avoid, the list of things that you absolutely hate. So then you have time to pay bills, time to take out the trash, maybe 10 minutes a day of tidying up, whatever it is, All right? Do the dishes, sweep the floors, clean the toilets. So you have all this list of stuff and you know, okay, I'm gonna have to, you know, sweep once a week. Uh, clean the toilets once a week, do the dishes every day. You understand that that's part of your schedule, but because you have that time for you already carved out, when it comes time to do it, you don't have to go and say, well, I'm going to have to forego my me time in order to accomplish all this because you've already blocked out the me time for you. And so you have all this, all these other things that you can go and fill in the blanks and you just do those other things and then when it comes to your money okay how do you fund the explorations that you like well places you want to go things you want to see things you want to learn you have a bucket list, have a folder, and put these things somewhere that you can refer to them because your your desires are going to be 
transient and as you grow as a person you're going to see and want to do more things but if you keep a list you can go and look for patterns so you kind of get a better idea of what it is that you want to be aiming for and as you see the patterns emerging over time about the things that pique your interest you can go and realize okay how much is it going to cost me to pursue this interest right could I go and land a job in IT that would make five hundred thousand dollars a year but only work two months out of the year and spend the rest of my life doing something else plenty of people that do that so you go and you look at what it is you want and you make incremental steps to make it happen you don't go and think what is it that somebody else wants for me and make incremental steps for that to happen that's not going to help so you don't have to listen to a world of SJs that tell you these are the things that you want you can listen to yourself and know these are the things that I want but then actually go for them and then when it comes time to implementing all of these things I suggest things that don't impede upon your imagination too much. You know, you can go and take one of these things and you can go and, you know, make up, you know, an alarm. And you can have your day full of them. You can have your day full of alarms and timers, and it literally takes. Well, let's see if I go and I make another alarm. Plus, and I'll say I want it at eight fifteen tomorrow morning, or eight fifteen you know, tomorrow morning. And then I can add a Google Assistant routine here. I can do whatever I want, right? And many of you have these, and if you don't have them, you can literally just use whatever kind of a time management thing that you want. But have something that breaks you of your reverie and know that you can go put yourself into the headspace to do something for a predetermined amount of time given the fact that you've already given your permission yourself to have your me time. Now if you're a teenager this is going to be especially helpful for you because you're going to wind up having your parents probably either up in your face uh, telling you to do things if you have SJs or you're going to have them be completely apathetic in which case you're going to have to piece together all this crap yourself. But I promise you the sooner you piece this crap together the easier the rest of your life is going to be. One of the biggest things I would suggest is if you have your goals intact, seek responsibility. Because as you seek responsibility, as you gain responsibility, you also gain competence. You gain efficiency and being efficient in the stupid things as you figure out how to do them the best way for you ultimately over the course of your entire life and given that you have a long time preference you will be able to seek these things will provide you with more me time you know like currently your state of affairs might be that you can only get an hour of me time every day but if you get your other stuff in order, you'll gradually be able to expand that to two hours or three hours or four or five. You know, I think that five hours of me time is pretty good. You know, if you have five hours of me time times seven, that's 35 hours. That's almost an entire uh, week's worth of work. And that's only if you do five hours of me time a day, seven days a week. If you do eight hours, maybe that's a little bit on the high end. But if you do eight hours on the weekend and five hours on the weekdays, that's certainly manageable. But work your way up to it. And don't make promises to yourself that you can't keep. Try something little and then make incremental adjustments. We'll figure it out. You're smart. That's about all I have for you. So, yeah, have me time in which you pursue meaningful things. Have a list of things you really want to avoid and do what it takes to avoid them, keeping your me time pretty much sacred. And seek responsibility as, as much as you possibly can. Because if you do, 
over the course of time, you improve your odds to be able to get what you want. And I know I gave generalities, but you can fill it in with the details that are relevant to you. I hope that this is helpful for you. I'll talk to you later.